Hello, welcome to Kent Beer Reviews again. Today, I've got a beer from you from, so I'll put it down here out of the sun because it's gone quite warm. We had a lot of rain this morning and a little bit of more of a thunderstorm, but now the sun's broke through and it's um, it's gotten really warm again. Anyway, we're out in the garden again. Just got to make the most of this weather. Um, it's a bottle of Goodies Ales. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Cool. As you can see, goodness gracious me, it's an IPA, um, coming out at 4.8%. It's brewed with Kent hops, um, not sure which ones, it's probably East Kent Golding, I suspect, something like that. Um, there's the uh, the website down the bottom there, below Goodies Ales, produce of Kent. There's a little bit more information there. There's a bit more information there if you want to pause. Notice that I didn't realise it was out of date. Oh well. What well, we are now, the uh, 5th of July, so it's well past its prime, so my, my fault. It's a black bottle cap. Let's give this a crack, see what's going on. Whoa, that's lively. Obviously, a lot of yeast in that. It is bottle conditioned. Crimey. Look at that. It's slightly over carbonated. You can really see. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a lot of yeast in that. I don't know if you can see it in that light. I can't really see the screen properly. It's uh, gone down. It's a one finger frothy white head some larger bubbles on top smaller ones around the side now the sun's gone in you probably see it a bit better maybe maybe not you can see through the top there it's a uh, an amber color it's quite cloudy um, we've still got a couple of we've still got about that much in the bottle so there must be a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of yeast that still in that, hence the spill. Let's get a, an aroma. Uh, you're definitely picking up the uh, kind of floral hops in this one. Like that, that traditional British hop variety, really. A bit lemony, sort of kind of uh, grassy that's a good one Wait, when you open a beer don't smell the beer up your nose <laughs> yeah it's um, it's definitely got I would guess East Kent Goldings um, maybe some SARS something like that um, anyway let's give it a taste Hopefully, by the smell, the hops have held past their drink by date. Let's see. Mm. I've just had an amazing dinner, so. I'm trying to work out where my palette's at. This might take me a little while. Bear with me. It's funny enough, there seems to be a few on the initial taste. A few. It's very sweet. It's just like a bittersweet front. It's it's got like hints of like honey. Um, You're definitely picking up them hops still, which is I was kind of worried about being out of date by um, a couple of months um, or a month, just over a month, say five weeks, end of May. Um, you're not really, apart from the original taste, you're not really picking up on a lot of other flavours. There's no kind of tropical fruits. 
Um, maybe they have faded. It's saying it's tropical. Is it fruits? It's certainly fruity. Um, best surf chill, bloody bloody blah. saying it at all. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's, you know. Very sweet at the front end. A little bit of honey. And then it, it, it's a bit earthy. Um, it's leaving a kind of a slightly metallic aftertaste. So the more I'm getting this beer onto my palate, the more I'm starting to realise that maybe it is just past its best, um, which is completely my fault. Um, as for the rating, it, it, it probably was better than what it is now, um, being six weeks out of, out of date. Um, Um, I'm probably going to give this today anyway. Um, I'm going to give it a six and a half out of ten. Um, it was very over carbonated. Uh, they must have put a lot of yeast in that. You saw that with the original opening of the bottle. Um, there is a fair bit of sediment left in there, so. There's already a lot in there, so let's give this a try and see if it changes any more. Cool. Something heavy just dropped in there. Is that all of it? Yep. I don't know if you can see. And then chunky monkeys floating around in that. Nothing wrong with that. And they recommend again don't put sediment into the into your beer but it doesn't bother me it's just vitamin D um, it's good for you so don't worry about it it doesn't sometimes it affects the taste slightly but it's, it's very it maybe a slight chalkiness to the original taste before you it's definitely carbonated before you put the rest in but it's okay don't drink drink the don't drink with your eyes anyway, that's what I say. Let's try not to sniff this one too hard. Yeah, it's definitely hoppy, being an IPA. I say it's, it's only a 4.8%. Mm. That sunlight is really bad today. There you go, one of those. Goodies Owl, they're out of Hearn in Kent, just there above my finger. I don't know if you can even see that. Just above the uh, the bottom bit of Goodies Owl, just to the left of uh, the Kent sign there, and our website's below if you want to check them out. But let's see if it tastes any different quickly. It does remind me of a honey honey beer in some regards, but it's just leaving that little bit of metallic at the end, which is not unpleasant, but you, you probably wouldn't want another one, but it's six weeks out of date, so partly my fault. It probably does taste better than that, um, but it's definitely bottle conditioned. Set it there. And this one really was lots of yeast. Anyway, cheers for now. See you soon. Bye-bye.